Hello everyone. So today we will learn about sickle cell anemia. So for that we have to first learn what is the normal structure of hemoglobin. Okay. So adult hemoglobin consists of HbA, HbA2 and HbF. So most of the percentage of Hb, 95 to 98 percentage of Hb is HbA. Okay. And it consists of two alpha chain and two beta chain. Now what happen in sickle cell anemia so it is basically hemoglobin disorder in which there is substitution of valine at the place of glutamic acid at the sixth position in the beta chain okay so it leads to formation of hbs so hbs kya karega ki dekho normally what is the shape of rbc it is concave disc shape okay so whenever there is low oxygen in our body to jo normal rbc ka shape hai it will convert into the c curled rbc due to polymerization of hbs okay now whenever there is normal oxygen then it will again turn into the normal shape of rbc so what happen there is continuous cycle of sickling and decycling which leads to uh, damage to cell membrane of rbc so this damaged rbc will be lysed in the uh, vessel so there is intravascular hemolysis and also there is extravascular hemolysis in the spleen okay so what are the clinical features there is hepatosplenomegaly so in child there is growth retardation okay and due to uh, occlusion of vessels in the ankle there is recurrent leg ulcer also and there is dactylitis and avascular necrosis of femur this all occur due to occlusion of vessel now why there is occlusion of vessel because this sickle rbc will aggregate and it will block the vessel so it leads to vascular occlusion okay this is all about pathogenesis of sickle cell disease thank you